Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some quite a few different cool things all floating around when it comes to the PlayStation 5 restock. So we actually have quite a bit of good news, quite a good stuff flowing around. And at the end of the day, I like to see kind of everything. We've actually had some pretty good vibes, pretty good folks getting consoles. We've had a lot of online orders, in-store orders. I think this weekend should be kind of going good. We'll also have a lot more, I think, brand new stock showing up. Like we got the whole smorgasbord going on all throughout today. And probably the next few days, so we'll probably also give you guys a good update tomorrow. But overall, I do like seeing all this like kind of pre-holiday stock going on when it does come with the PlayStation 5s and all of that. Mainly because, well, it's got a lot of stuff. So let's go talk about it. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well. Uh, make sure you guys try to go and uh, subscribe before you sneeze. I tried. I tried, dude. That was like the most awkward mid-talk sneeze. If you guys want to subscribe well, for the giveaway, $500 down below, Twitter and Twitch stream, Amazon Target, and all that good stuff too. And hopefully you guys won't go and catch a cold. And let's go dive into the video itself. So, very first and foremost, we actually had a lot of really good vibes from this Amazon restock. I had quite a few different people tweet at me, send me some uh, even Twitch messages too. We also had a lot of folks even up just mention it, even on some YouTube comments, that of the PlayStation 5 Amazon waves actually went very, very well. So, if you guys want to, from what I heard is that they did do a few waves too as well, which is what I had a chance to see and people were mentioning. And what we've kind of been noticing still is that usually within the next few days or so, like I'll probably maybe remind this on Sunday and maybe Monday, is that they sometimes do have like leftover stock. Sometimes they have canceled order stock. And it does kind of seem like we usually see like three to six waves or so when it does come with stock and stock availability. So I think this is something that I'm pretty hyped up for. I like seeing this. I like seeing the vibe. I like seeing everyone getting their consoles. And overall, if you guys have not checked it, check your promotions, your spam or normal inboxes. Because we've been seeing some pretty good vibes when it comes to people getting and receiving their consoles, which makes me pretty happy at the end of the day. So, uh, big thumbs up on that. Big good vibes on that. And as well, we'll probably maybe see a few more waves or additional stocks showing up throughout these next few days. Now, even for today, because the drop officially started as of, like, yesterday. So, I think, like, I have to still kind of figure it out, because I've been hearing different things from different people. And sometimes, like I said, some people say there's waves. Some people say there's not waves. Uh, some people say that there is, like, like three or four different waves. Some people get their email, like, two days later and their self-access. I've been hearing a lot of different things on this. And I kind of wish I can have an actual email invite, because as you guys can see, even on the old ones, I have not even gotten an email yet. So, I'm, I'm unlucky. I was in the first wave, and I was telling people about it. So if you guys ever want to give me details, you guys totally can. But as well, make sure you guys all use the links down below. This did turn into a number one best seller. So obviously we have all the PlayStation links and all the vibes down below in case you guys do want to press it and be involved with this drop. Like I said, a lot of people had a chance to get it. Number one, a lot of folks got their consoles. And I do think there should still be a few additional stocks as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see the vibe and hopefully it'll all turn out pretty good as well. And then uh, obviously, too, like after like the next four, like it's kind of worth still checking or checking your email and to see if like stuff shows up. Just kind of depends on what Amazon does or how they do it. Uh, and then probably in the next like four or five days, it'll probably be fully gone as well. Now, as a reminder, though, we actually have been seeing Amazon stock showing up still in their little Amazon stores, like the little Amazon walk in centers. There's not too many floating around. But we have had a few reports that it makes sense, too, with the Amazon drop happening, like literally as of right now, ongoing, that there might be some extra allocated stock floating around. So keep that in mind. We have been seeing that vibe, and I do think it's been overall pretty, pretty good. Now, interestingly enough, too, I want to remind folks that we are still somehow seeing PlayStation 5s at GameStop. I'm over here saying, like, oh, I call the local GameStop, and they told me they still had a PS5 bundle available, where the price was $583. After tax, does this sound right, too, as well? feel like it's very expensive, and people are like, yeah, it's in the normal price, depends on your state, you had a little state tax, too, on top of that as well, blah, blah, blah. And uh, we were still seeing folks also mentioning that they still have some PlayStation 5 disc, disc editions for their local area and local stores, and going from there. Go to other examples, like, hey, I was able to finally secure a PS5, my local GameStop had a big restock, Xbox Series Xs, uh, I have no idea what an end sold, like, maybe a, like, the Nintendo... Soled, maybe? I don't know. I've never seen anyone call it the insult, though. PS5s, etc. And they still had four left over here, too, as well. And they get the extra bundle. So just letting you guys know, we have been seeing, like, little new fresh batches, potentially, or just still leftover stock from the prior GameStop in-store restocks. Uh, we've kind of been seeing, like, an, like, I think a lot of this also depends on your area, location. But it does kind of seem like if a lot of folks are... Like, if they're just all around, like, if they're all just floating around and they're getting stock and everything with that... 
uh, you call like five or ten different stores, you're probably going to have a good chance to go and get some stock. Uh, and get your consoles. And the, the bundles aren't too bad. They're just the PlayStation uh, and then a controller or like we saw a few digital horizons and then like PSN cards. I think it kind of just depends, you know. It really is kind of all the place. We'll have to go and see. But all right, good stuff. Just kind of, I guess, on the Reddit comment to train. Uh, we got people saying, oh, my God, I finally got my invite from Amazon. Not only did I get the invite to as well, but it's for the standalone digital too, which is definitely the better version. I think they had a really big digital stock too as well, as you guys saw as the number one seller. This is the exact one I wanted. I wanted a digital edition, but I didn't want the Horizon bundle too as well. So still, guys, we finally got one too. So I'm just kind of reminding folks I'm happy that people had a chance to go get that. Uh, we just saw some pretty good stuff. We saw some good vibes too and all around. So good things with that. We also did actually, interesting enough, and our next, like, restop target did go and see more folks out here. You even saw this. No longer insane. Actually, a girl, too. Also, it's always nice to see. Uh, in the gaming, like, just more inclusivity. I didn't make the Amazon link cut, so they went to Target for some retail therapy, and they stumbled upon this. All the sites and apps say it was not in stock, but I guess they're not updating their store websites fast enough. And it's kind of been the same take we've been saying for when it comes to, uh, you know, all the consoles and stuff, is that Target stores are still having stock available in store. That Target stores are also sometimes not allowing the listings online, as we've mentioned before. So uh, it just depends on your local store, local area, local stock. So if you guys want to go and keep on using the links down below for Target, feel free to if you guys would like. And as well, if you guys ever go and uh, you just need anything, just let me know. Like, cool, good stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Target, good stock. We've still been seeing new batches. We saw, we've been seeing like throughout the past week a few more little additional stocks too. So probably this weekend we'll be seeing a lot more because it's kind of like in the early starts into the new new wave, if that makes kind of sense. So good stuff with that. Now to kind of go back on the big boy train, Walmart still has been getting uh, quite a few different new reports of stock showing up, of new stock being available, of new stock just existing. So if you guys do want to go and check out the south side in the country, we've seen a little bit on the Chicago side, we've seen a little bit of northeast side. The only ones I haven't really seen too much are on the west side. So, I mean, that's not bad. Like, I think we're, we're vibing that. We're going kind of good. So, if you guys do want to go and check out those areas, uh, call your stores. Some people are having success on the stores. Some stores may not have stock. I'm sure you, most of you guys know it's just kind of sporadic at this point of who or what has what. Uh, and then Walmart managers might have stock. Uh, some stores have had, like, five. Some stores have, like, 20. Some GameStop stores even had upwards, like, 15 or so, give or take. Not too bad. Now, as well, we also did go and have some other things with Best Buy. We're waiting to go and see the next upcoming Best Buy drop, which is coming up soon. We have been hearing reports of Best Buy stores having and receiving stock. Like, we have been seeing good movement with the Best Buy stores showing up as well. So, that should be all around good to go. Uh, so, we'll prep up for the Total Tech drop. We'll prep up and see if they do any more in-stores throughout the weekend. But... As I mentioned, at least we have been seeing good notices of stock showing up and Best Buy kind of moving and grooving uh, as well. So kind of also a few little casual updates, too, for some side stuff on this one. And I think we might be expecting some also uh, in-store stuff or the, like the retail grocery chains. But quick updates, the PlayStation Drex are all sold out. I did just go beat the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 game itself, which is actually pretty good. If you guys ever just want to hang out on Twitch and say hi, you guys can. I, I feel like it's kind of fun over there. But there is no consoles over here for the PlayStation Jurette. Uh, I'm going to guess and hope that they kind of do a really big either pre-order or like a big God of War restock when that game console comes out. So I'm going to kind of, maybe some places might be more chiller. The PlayStation Direct until then, that would be, because I do have that, that is a confirmed bundle. So we can kind of go and see from there. Uh, and then as well, we do have the Anton Line 2 on top of this which is also sold out. Uh, we have on occasion seen Costco's do online restocks on the weekends or in-store stock. Sam's Club 2 as well has also done online listings, etc. Walmart, probably not because we had that weird little micro drop on Thursday and in-store reports. We are still watching for Fred Meyers, Kroger, Smith stores, etc. We usually do uh, see a lot of like Saturday into Sunday drops, although we find like we get more information like throughout Saturday. So probably for tomorrow's video, if we see anything else, but if you guys want to check the BJ's, Wholesalers, Myers, Fred Myers, the apps, or call their stores, or just check their tech centers and all that type of stuff, too, as well. So keep that in mind. And on top of that, too, we also are still watching for the Gamefly, which is extremely overdue. Verizon has still been having, I think, new bundles and new stocks showing up, and also some more in-store rumors. If you just want to go check those on out. We have the Staples Store locations, too, are on the overdue side. No major big updates with that. Same with the PC Richards. Nothing big on that. 
So watching the Dell and Dorma and also the military online and military walkings, etc, etc. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. We'll have some more videos off throughout today, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, we have the Amazon links down below, Target links down below, and make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on.